Hello, this is the second video of the sixth complex number series on exponential form for OCR Pure Core Further Mathematics and considers ways in which the exponential form of a complex number may be used. Previously, we've looked at two forms of complex numbers, the r cos theta plus i sine theta form and the x plus yi form. We can convert between these and the exponential form of r e to the i theta. From the r cos theta plus i sine theta form, it's very straightforward to spot what r is, in this case 4, and theta, in this case pi by 4. And therefore, we can write that z equals 4 e to the i pi by 4. In the x plus y i form, then we need to work out r equal to 2 root 2 to 3 pi by 4. Let's just check the quadrant. So minus 2 plus 2 would be in the second quadrant and 3 pi by 4 would be the correct principal argument. Therefore we can write that z equals 2 root 2 e to the i 3 pi by 4. In this example we write w equals 4 plus 4i in exponential form with r greater than 0 and theta lying between minus pi and pi. Working out r first of all being the square root of 4 squared plus 4 squared equals 4 root 2 and theta equal to tan to the minus 1 4 over 4 equal to pi by 4. Quick check on the quadrant. 4 plus 4i would be in that first quadrant, so pi by 4 is the correct principal argument. w is therefore 4 root 2 e to the i pi by 4. We know from previous series that we are expecting a pentagon formed by the five roots that all lie on a circle of radius root 2 equal that 4 root 2 e to the i pi by 4. Then z, the modulus of z for all of those will be the fifth root of 4 root 2, which is root 2. And the various roots said will be root 2 e to the pi by 4 plus 2k pi i also divided by 5. When k is 0, this will give us the first root, root 2, e to the i, pi by 20. seen here. The second root where k is 1 will give us to e to the i 9 pi by 20. Which will be this one here. k equals 2 root 2 e to the 17 pi by 20 i 
k equals 3, then theta is minus 7 pi by 20, and for k is 4, the theta value is minus 15 pi by 20. I think you can see that those five roots would form that pentagon on the circle of radius root 2. Expanding those two brackets gives us z to the 8 minus z to the 4 e to the i theta minus z to the 4 e to the minus i theta plus e to the i theta e to the minus i theta. We know that e to the i theta equals cos theta plus i sine theta and that e to the minus i theta equals cos theta minus i sine theta. Therefore when we add those we find that we get 2 cos theta. Thus, the expanded expression can be written as z to the 8 minus 2 z for 4 cos theta. And also then the plus 1 because e to the i theta times its reciprocal is 1. We can use this result to solve the equation z to the 8 minus z to the 4 plus 1 equals 0 as we can see that they are the same equation if cos theta equals a half which happens when theta equals pi by 3 which is within the range minus pi and pi. So factorising using the previous part and solving z for 4 minus e to the i pi by 3 equals 0 or z for 4 minus e to the minus i pi by 3 equals 0. The k values which can be 0, 1, 2 or 3. Z will equal e to the plus or minus i over 4, which is taking that fourth root of pi by 3 plus 2k pi. The theta values using those different integer k values turn out to be plus or minus pi by 12, plus or minus 7 pi by 12, plus or minus 11 pi by 12, and plus or minus 5 pi by 12. As shown on the diagram, the red and the green root totalling 8. In the next video, we will express sine theta and cos theta in terms of complex numbers.